Well, unknown Hellas in my local bottle shop. Um, is there anything finer in life? Finding a little Hellas that you've never seen before and thinking, you know what, I wonder what this is like. Um, this is Makatsna Hell. Um, and this was, yeah, this was at a relatively local bottle shop. It was £3.75 a bottle. I love the fact that they're so reasonably priced, these um, these fine sort of beers that you get, you know, from... Uh, so, oh, it's, from, it's brewed by Lonebrow. I was going to say that you get from Germany. Uh, yeah, this looks like it's blue, brewed by Lonebrow. Um, it says Makatsa Lonebrow, Benedict Weiss, KG, whatever that means. Um, just looking at the back there. It's 4.9% ABV. Um, and it's a half litre bottle. Um, and it is, uh, I say, the Makatsna Original Hell. And there's some German stuff in there. It says since 1853. Um well, let's uh, let's have a see what it's like. Let's crack it open. So, we'll crack it open. We'll have a little look. Let's get it in the glass. So, not really much to say about this. I mean, you know, um, lager from Germany. I don't know much about Hellas, what makes it a Hellas, but as I'm assuming this one is, considering it's the original Hell. Um, yeah, it talks about some stuff. It's... Um, Bearish, what, bearish. I don't, know, I don't know what that means actually. Um, uh, bearish is uh, yeah, bearish is beer. Is that Bavarian? Possibly. Um, anyway, let's get let's get this in there. That'll do for now. In my Zillatal glass, nice Austrian brewery. Let's get a bit of a smell on it. So it's all it's grassy, it's bready, it's biscuity, lemon, quite a bit of lemon in the smell there. Bit of citrus, bit of orange peel. Smells a little bit. It smells smells malty. Smells a little bit wheaty. A little bit oaty. Smells great. Smells like the fields, but in a good way. Smells really fresh. Smells clean. Smells crisp, which you often get from these German German lagers. Why I like them so much. Uh, yeah, smells amazing. We've got a lovely white fluffy head there. Um, we've got. Again, lovely, not too many bubbles rising up. That shows that it's not too fizzy, it's not too carbonated. Um, it just smells great. Um, I just want to get in there. Let's get in for the old taste then. So, um, here we go. Cheers. Mm, that's really smooth. That's really smooth. That's really refreshing. There's loads of those biscuity, bready notes there with a bit of the lemon bitterness to offset it. Mm. Lovely, sort of lovely like, lingering aftertaste there. Yeah, every time you breathe out, you get more of that lovely breadiness coming through on the on the on the flavour. Let's get the rest of the bottle in there. I say it's absolutely crystal clear. It will be beautiful in the garden. Beautiful on a hot day. It's not the hottest day in the world today, but. It's, uh, yeah, it's looking amazing. Yeah, it's got, it's got quite a bit of a sharp taste to it, quite a bit, quite a very clean, crisp bitterness to it, which um, some Hellas don't have. This one has, though, so it's a slightly more on the bittery, more pilsner side of the scale, I'd say, with that. It's, I tend to find the Hellas a little bit, you know, less sharp in that but that's not a bad thing you know obviously you know nice and cold hot day you want something with that little bit of tang at the end to um just to make you want to come back in for more i mean this is incredibly drinkable i mean i can't stop drinking it it's just great i mean there's not much more you can say really it's lovely balance there i say it's it's, um, I see lemon grapefruit heavy a bit, um, rather than the sort of the like breadier biscuitier side. I see it's leaning a little bit more towards that kind of that citrusy sort of end of the scale of the lager scale there. Um, and it's yeah, it's, it's great. I mean, you know, it's very very nice. It's actually got seventeen thirty eight on the front there actually. So I don't know if that's when the brewery was first founded. Maybe it was. I don't know. Um, sort of independent up until maybe 1848 where maybe it was it merged with Lone Brow. I really don't know. I don't know about the history of this brewery. As I say, it was a funky little bottle that I saw in um, 
here in a bottle shop and I thought you know what and they have loads of different hells in the bottle shop that I go to and um, it's uh, yeah and it was just there it just looked cool I like the label so I thought you know what let's uh, let's let's just get it on the basis of the label 375 absolute steel for a 500 mil bottle of a really good Hellas lager that's all I can say there you go um, I'm going to enjoy the rest of it now until next time have a good one.